Well, everyone, One UI 5 has officially came out, and so has Android 13. So I wanted to go ahead and kind of give a breakdown. I'm trying to make the Galaxy S22 look bigger. I'm trying to give a breakdown of essentially how and why the differences are between these two, if that makes any sense. Now, I want to start off, there are way more similarities than differences. Android 13 and One UI 5 are built on the same thing. They're both running Android 13, but with stock Android, there are some features. And with One UI 5, there's a lot of features. I'm going to be honest, right? I would say the biggest consensus of stock Android and with Android 13, and the reason why most people probably gravitate more towards Android 13 over something like One UI, which is a skin version of Android 13, is the, I would say, stability and the smoothness factor with One U with you know Android 13, the stock version of Android. Now I'm going to showcase animations and kind of the smoothness between these two in a little bit, but if I were to go ahead and kind of showcase to you the smoothness behind this specific software, I mean, it is beautiful. I love this phone. I love the version of software it's on and i do think overall this is a very very good version of android is it perfect probably not but i think it gets the job done and i think it is a really good version of android personally every time i've used a stock android phone i've had a great time and this isn't really like a google pixel versus you know samsung comparison but i will say overall if i can go and showcase wherever the android version is android 13 right here the best thing about Android 13 is the smoothness and the stability. It is really cool, and I love the animations. I love the just how smooth this phone is overall. Now, with the One UI 5, the biggest feature, and the reason why I love One UI, well, I like it now more so than I used to, is because of the amount of features built in. Within One UI 5, whatever device is rocking One UI 5, just like whatever device is rocking stock Android, you're getting the same amount of features, but there are so many features built in with One UI 5 over something like stock Android. Now, one of the coolest features within One UI 5, for the most part, is with the lock screen. We now have the ability of customizing our lock screen, where in stock Android, we don't really have that type of capability. So if I go ahead and hold down on my lock screen, you can see I get into this type of panel. On stock Android, if we go ahead and turn off the phone and we turn it back on, this is the Pixel 7 Pro, by the way. If we go and hold down on the display, there's no way we can customize it, you know, which is kind of unfortunate. So in the settings, there might be some way we can go ahead and kind of change some things here and there. So if I go and click here, if I start typing in lock screen, you can see we have our lock screen option here. You can go ahead and, I guess, you know, add text and, you know, change some things here and there. But it's not really like a customizable panel like we have on iOS 16 and we have on One UI 5. So in One UI 5, this is a massive feature, and in my opinion, I'm really happy about. This is something that I look at and I'm like, wow, we now have this ability that iPhones just got as well. Now, we could always customize our lock screen with third-party apps and different things like that, but again, having a native type of capability like this built in straight in the box is really cool, and personally, I'm a massive fan of that. You can go and customize fonts. You can go and customize so many things. It's not even funny. You can change you know, the way everything is displayed for the most part. You can even move your wallpaper like this in the background too and change these apps in the bottom as well. So there is a lot of cool stuff here that I'm actually really happy about, and, and that is the consensus, and that is the reason why I love One UI 5, or just One UI in general. There are so many features built in, it's not even funny. You have the separate Galaxy Store, which gives you applications like GoodLock. You can turn on the you know LED display notifications up here. I would also argue that sometimes, I don't know, I, this is definitely, I would say, not maybe as smooth of a phone as Android 13, but Google or Samsung mentioned that they have worked on the animations, and they're trying to make the gestures as smooth as possible, and I will say, I mean, it definitely seems much smoother than it was, maybe a little bit smoother before, I don't know if it's, there's something about switching between the displays that I really do like, but switching back to Android 13, as always, I mean, this is built off Android 13, so you're pretty much getting the same thing. But the one thing that I've always liked is the elements and just the way stock Android looks. I like the look of stock Android more. You can always, you know, install a third-party launcher. But I like the look of stock Android. It looks like there's not a lot of stuff going on. It looks way more premium, in my opinion, in some cases. And I just like the way it, I like it, like it just looks, you know. Even going into settings, you're always getting something... A lot of people don't like their phones being like google fi that's kind of what they call it, but personally, I don't mind it. Everything just seems to work. I've had overall less glitches and less issues on a, you know, Google Pixel or like a stock Android 13 device than on a One UI 5 device, so that's coming from personal opinion, but like I mentioned, there's less features overall on Android 13. Another thing I want to showcase is the camera UI. This is what the stock camera UI looks on, you know, stock Android, and this is what the camera UI looks on One UI 5. So you can see right here, I mean, some people may see that there's pretty much no difference, but in my opinion, there are massive differences for sure. Google really doesn't put too many cool features in their stock Android phone when I feel like they could. 
if I go switch, I mean, you can see I have portrait mode, night sight, module, and under more, I don't really, or under modes, I don't really have too many other options. On One UI 5, I mean, it's just crazy. Even on the first One UI version, Samsung puts so many features in their camera UI, it's not even funny. Not only do we have that top panel up here, but we have portrait mode, we have video mode, and under more, we have so many more options, it's not even funny. So, personally, I've always found that to be a really good thing from Samsung, and I love One UI because of that. So, I want to go and kind of demonstrate the animation speeds between these two and see which one is the smoother one between them. So, I was originally going to do this with the Google Pixel 7. Unfortunately, that one has a 90Hz display. So, these are both 120Hz displays, 7 Pro, Galaxy S22. And just kind of look at when we're opening up these applications, right? I don't know immediately if things are like crazy different to you guys. And honestly, I wouldn't say if you, I was holding one, if I was holding the other, I don't think I would be able to notice that big of a difference. But I do kind of feel like, as I mentioned before, the Google Pixels in stock Android usually are smoother than something like on, you know, One UI 5. So if I go and click onto like this app store, things load up. But if I just go and kind of scroll through, I kind of, actually both of them are kind of glitching up. But I think the Galaxy S22 on One UI 5 might be a little bit glitchier. I also would have probably argue that the chipset inside of this phone, the S22, is faster than the Tensor G2 chipset right now. But still, smoother phone overall on something like the Gal on the Google Pixel 7 Pro on stock Android than on One UI 5. And I think that has a lot more to do with the software experience than even like the hardware, to be honest, because this phone I think is underpowered compared to this one. Getting into like the gesture based design, we can go and kind of scroll through here, kind of go through as fast as possible. Not really that big of a difference. Now, another thing I want to showcase is getting into the application. So if we go into phone, if we go and kind of like swipe up and down, both of them are fairly smooth, you know? I can definitely tell both are 120 hertz for the most part. If we go and kind of go fast, so this one on One UI 5, we can go side to side. This one looks like we cannot go side to side once we lift it up, which is, oh, I think you can. I don't know why that was going on over there. So both are very smooth, you know? I don't really have too big of an issue on either one of these, swapping out of both these right there. We can go and get into their app drawer and even swiping between their app drawer, swiping up and down. I guess I'll have to go back to their page. I don't really think there's that big of a difference here either. Both of them are very, very smooth. And yeah, I mean, if you're going from, if you're trying to worry about the animation speeds between them, at least with the gesture side, both of them are very smooth. Of course, you're going to get, you know, varying types of performances and everything. If you're rocking something like a Google Pixel, if you're rocking like something like a Samsung Galaxy. But I will say from my experience so far, both One UI and Android, stock Android, they basically have kind of the same thing going on for the most part. So to kind of sum up this whole entire video, what I can tell you is I think stock Android, you know, it definitely has its pros. I like this version of software a lot and I definitely do think stock Android is not going anywhere anytime soon. I just kind of wish Google were to put a little bit more features into their, you know, phone. I always feel like Samsung just throws so many features into their phone that no other manufacturer can really keep up with. I feel like if they can improve their camera UI, it's been the same thing for so many years now, just like with Apple. They need to go and throw in way more features. They could be trying way harder. That's the thing. I feel like Google could be trying way harder in this specific case. I feel like Samsung needs to do the opposite. I feel like Samsung goes too hard in certain areas. Like they give us so many cool features and I love it. And I will say I have more critiques for stock Android than I do have with One UI nowadays. You usually get better battery life and things like that with stock Android as well. But I do like the fact that we get a ton of features built in here. I just feel like Samsung could give us a little bit more of a stock approach as well. Maybe not extremely stock like you know on the pixel but i feel like the one ui is definitely the better version of software overall when you consider features and everything and i used to never think that but now it's starting to grow on me for sure so that kind of covers it up for the most part if you have any other thoughts or questions let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that me so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then